Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. So I received the package. I was uh, down at the flight simulator working on the main instrument panel and I had a phone call from DHL saying that they had delivered a package at my front door. So I thought maybe I would share this with you guys. Let's see what this is. Uh, okay. And we're back to the whole problem with holding the phone, cutting. Hold on, guys. Alright. So let's open up one at a time. Let's see. Oh, it looks like they've uh, it's been glued together. Just like you know, in the last video, these are flight illusion gauges. These are the gauges that will go into the overhead panel. So this is the complete Boeing package. And look at this. Fuel temperature gauge, you know. Alright. That's those two. And let's put them this next one. Neatly packaged. Ne neatly packed. Looks even better. The packaging looks better than the last time. Hmm. These are some good looking instruments. Very good looking instruments. I gotta give it to them. Flight Illusion really does an excellent job with, with their products. And they deliver what they promise to. A lot of people don't. They promise more than they can deliver, but not Flight Illusion. That's a really good job. Alright, that's the interface card, I think. Let's uh, look at this one. Oh. What is this? What is that? Oh, that's the duct pressure. Dual needle duct pressure gauge. Oh, that's a good looking one too. That is nice. That is nice indeed. And the last one for the small gauges. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's the APU uh, EGT gauge. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's have a look at this uh, this last plant, bad boy. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Cables. I'm excited to see this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See this one too. It's, it actually su surprises me that when you receive these gauges, they actually look better than what you'd expect. This is an awesome looking gauge, differential pressure gauge, cabin pressure, very nice, very, very nice. So these ones are going into the overhead. This is going to be a good looking overhead guys, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. And for the last package. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, that's, uh, that's just an interface card, interface card, yeah, that's an interface card, because I needed a separate card for the overhead, I was just going to run these gauges, and they have one interface card for the main instrument panel. Now I'll tell you what, the only thing I do not like about these gauges is the fact that they use LED light for the backlight. 
You see the, uh, let's see if I can find the LEDs for you. Uh, there we are. You see those? Those are the LEDs that post through these panels. And uh, the light is blue. Blue LED. And that, uh, that's not looking very good. Uh, not too long ago, just a few years ago, Flight Illusion had yellow LEDs in their uh, uh, gauges. And that looked actually a lot better. So in my my uh, conclusion is that they actually went backwards in evolution with their whole backlight thing. And one more thing is that these panels on the inside are not uh, shine through. They're not illuminated from the back so it shines through all these digits and actually needs to be shined upon. And that kind of sucks but that's, those are things I can live with. There's no really no problem at all. It's just that you can't have everything, you know? And, guys, I just wanted to show you guys this video, and I'm still working on the main instrument panel. I just finished the under, underneath side of the glare shield today, actually. So, the next step is to um, fix the, uh, the glare wings to make them round-looking, ready for paint, everything. Uh, and then uh, the main instrument panel is going to be mounted in the cockpit and the glare panel will be constructed. So that will be the, for the next video guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little update. I'm not dead. <laughs> uh, keep following on the Facebook page Norwegian 737 Project and I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Have a good day. Bye-bye now.